friends, this is our thrift door, and I have a short little thrift haul to share with you today. It's some pieces I picked up today, and uh, there's one that I have not found for a really long time. And um, I, <clears throat> I wanted to show you that, and there's a couple other kind of neat pieces. We'll get right on to it. This first item, I looked it up at the store, and it's a Banana Republic. I pick up very little Banana Republic, but this is 100% leather outer, and then it has like a polyester lining, but it's a... Um, it's a size two that's very tiny, but it's a black leather vest. And, you know, the prices were all right on it. It wasn't like spectacular to rate, but it was all right. It's really quite soft. Um, I picked up some Lululemon today, and I've made mention that I don't pick uh, Lululemon up hardly um, that much anymore. But some pieces if I get it cheap enough and um, <clears throat> I got two long sleeves and a button-up the button-ups brand new with tags but um, in the shorts and some of the dance pants but this is just a little Lululemon um, this used to be an excellent brand just by anything you picked up used to sell really great but now I've mentioned before you know Valori really has replaced it this is a cute it's almost like a baby doll style top. I'll have to try to figure out comps on that. <laughs> figure out what it's, you know, what, what I do with these is um, I take a photo of it and then do Google Lens, you know, to try to get an idea of what it might be style. Um, this is a hoodie and it's got um, smocked, you know, gathered bottom. And it has, um, I guess the fold, it has, you know, I know what thumb holes is, but I don't know what it's exactly called when you can fold it over and cover your whole hand. Maybe hand warmer, I'll have to look that up. But anyhow, this is another Lululemon. Um, a lot of these pieces, um, the pieces I picked it up today were either a dollar, half off, and the prices weren't real high on them anyways, or I got 25% off. Um, this I waited till it went to a dollar. This is Cabbie. It is the new style Cabbie, but I've been finding this brand is really hit or miss. I even have, I think, two brand new with Tags Cabbie items listed, but they're listed for around $50. They're still sitting, but it's a very nice flannel. And, um, you know, keywords, classic, outdoor, even though it feels like that brand. Um, maybe, West, you know, I'll, I'll be putting Western, Rockabilly, maybe Cowgirl, Cowgirl Core, because Western is really trending right now. This is a Lululemon. And, huh, it's just like a long sleeve, real thin, you know, top. It's very thin. I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, even with taking a picture, I don't know if Google Lens will pull up anything on that. It's very basic. This is the brand new with tags, and it's a size small. It's a men's, and I tried to look it up um, real quick, and it's called the Mason Peak Long Sleeve Shirt, but when I typed that on eBay, it brought up a lot of flannel shirts. There was one that was listed of this, and it sold for 45 However... The flannels were selling for more. I will try to sell it for more, even though it's a small. Um, it's brand new with tags. It was 118 suggested retail price. The store, it says final sale was $69. But, you know, brand new with tags. As far as I know, there's no issue with selling brand new with tags. Um, Lululemon, you know, there's not a veto for that. There is a North Face. Um, if you didn't know that, North Face, you're not supposed to sell. You can get a veto for that if it's brand new with tags. You can sell used, but just don't sell new. These had an excellent sell-through rate, over over 100% sell-through rate, pretty sure. Um, it's Priana or Priana. And I know I mentioned, I think, this yesterday because I had a shirt that um, that I had on the third haul from yesterday. I, I mean, I mentioned the brand. Um, going to be choosy on what I pick up, but these had a really great sell through rate. They didn't sell for a ton. It looked like maybe around $19. I don't know. These are a size 33. They're, they're that kind of like that techie kind of short men's. And that's how come I took time to look them up. This, I waited till it went to a dollar. I had checked comps on it before. It feels like linen, but it's not. It's hundred percent cotton. This is Vineyard Vines Relax, and I think it's a size 6. Anyhow, it's a plaid button-up shirt, but it's women's. Now, Vineyard Vines men's still seems to sell, but the women's, this did not have a great sell through rate at all. I maybe should not even have picked it up for a dollar. Um, you know, I don't know. But 
um, it's a beautiful shirt. I've mentioned this brand before. This is um, Majestic's um, Filatures is how I pronounce it. It's hard to see the second word on the print here. And this, I just listed one that was similar to this. It was a um, cow neck. And it might, it should have been on one of my uh, thrift haul videos, I think. I don't know for sure. Uh, but it, I th it might have been blue or something like that. But these can sell for a little bit of money. They don't sell very quickly, like super fast. But I'd say like 25, 35, I'd start listening. You know, I can't remember what I listed the other one for. You know, you could start it up there because really it should sell for around 30, I would think. This is a brand. Haven't found this for a really long time. It's Citron Santa Monica, and uh, this is a size medium, and this is 100% silk. It's embroidered. It kind of reminds you of a Johnny Was, this particular piece. Not all of it's embroidered, but they did board, embroider that. And it's kind of, this is Asian looking. The other is just, you know, some of it's just printed on. But this is what the tag looks like. And it would be probably, these are probably more vintage now. I did not do comps on this. These used to sell for quite a bit of money. Like, it seemed like they used to sell for around $50. I don't remember. But this is very nice. I'll have to do comps on that. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like, you could subscribe. And if you could push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.